Hello friends, welcome to my channel Code Complete the Spirit of Coding. Today in this video, we are going to install Visual Studio Code Editor in our Linux machine. In this video, we will cover the following topics. A brief introduction about Visual Studio Code. And then, I will walk you through the installation process on my Linux environment. Visual Studio Code, also known as VS Code, is an open source cross-platform editor from Microsoft. In simple terms, it is a free editor which helps programmer to write code, helps in debugging and correct the code using the IntelliSense method. In normal terms, it facilitates users to write the code in an easy manner. Visual Studio Code has very unique features and some of them are Cross-Platform Support Visual Studio Code is available on Windows, Linux, and Mac OS operating systems. You can quickly install it on your favorite platform. Syntax Highlighting As a developer, you may write code in different languages such as .NET, c -sharp, PHP, Python, JavaScript, etc. Visual Studio Code can highlight language specific syntax. You do not require to switch to multiple platforms for a specific language. IntelliSense It provides excellent IntelliSense, means it can detect if any code snippet is left incomplete. IntelliSense is a general term for a variety of code editing features including code completion, Parameter Info, Quick Info, and Member List. Plugin or Extensions It also provides several extensions to enhance the usability of the VS Code. These extensions increase the capability of Visual Studio Code. You can have extensions for SQL Server, c -sharp, AWS, Python, JavaScript, keyboard shortcuts, and many more. Tree view representation. It gives you a tree view or hierarchical interface to view your project files. You can easily navigate through different sections of your project folder. Integrated terminal. Visual Studio Code provides an integrated built-in terminal for your workspace. You do not require to switch different windows to perform command line tasks. Git integration. It comes with integrated Git that allows for adding, committing, pulling and pushing changes to a remote Git repository using a simple GUI. Getting up and running with Visual Studio Code is quick and easy. It is a small download so you can install it in a matter of minutes. So let's start the installation process. First update local Ubuntu repositories. Open a terminal window. and enter the command to update the repositories sudo apt-get update Now 
Now open your favorite browser and navigate to code.visualstudio.com slash download. You can check the same link in description section of this video. Microsoft provides .deb file for Debian and Ubuntu and .rpm file for Red Hat, Fedora and CentOS. Identify the desired installation package and download it. At the time of making this video, I have Ubuntu 20.04 installed in my machine. So click on .db link for the Linux 64 bit. The file is downloading in my machine. If in case you will be prompted for what to do with the file, then select the save file radio button and click OK. Here the time taken to download the file is depends on your internet speed. As you have noticed that in my machine by default the file has been downloaded in a download directory. Once the file has been downloaded, open a terminal window. Change the directory to the location where the file was downloaded. So the command to navigate to download directory is Now install the package using the apt utility. Once the installation is complete, you should see the output similar to the following. It is to be noted that in some cases it might be necessary to install some additional dependencies. If that happens, you will see the missing dependencies in the output from the last command. So you can execute the following command to install all of the missing dependencies. At this point, Visual Studio code should be ready to go. In activities search bar, type Visual Studio code and click on the icon to launch the application. When you start VS Code for the first time, a window like the following should appear. You can also launch the VS code from the command line by typing code. Open the terminal, type code and hit enter.
there are some points to be noted. Microsoft makes a new release of Visual Studio Code every month, which means the version you install will be different from the version I have installed in my machine at the time of making this video. Also, when a new version is released, you can update the Visual Studio Code package through your desktop standard software update tool or by running the following commands in the terminal. So friends, that's it for now. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And for the latest video updates, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.